Wendy, you have said that um, in giving to others, we gain in incalculable ways. Can you just talk a little bit more about that sentiment and how that became sort of a focal point for Impact 100? Absolutely. Um, you know, today even, but but back then, we look at the news, we, we see what's happening, we see our neighbors and friends struggling, we understand that people are going to bed hungry or, or they can't go to school or they can't read. And it can really break our hearts. We can worry. And oftentimes when we read about these things or we see this on the news, we really do worry. We internalize it in a way that feels very hopeless. However, when we understand that we actually can do something to help, that these stories are more than stories, and that when we look beyond what the problem is and start identifying the local nonprofits who are already working to try to solve it, that they found interventions and successful ways to, to turn these things around. We go from wringing our hands and being worried about the future and feeling helpless to being able to support those non nonprofits, whether it's through a, a donation, which is what Impact 100 is all about, or, or volunteering our time or giving in kind. When we come together like this and women start to feel that they're a part of the solution, what ends up happening is our biology changes. When we're generous, when we give back, our bodies get flooded with oxytocin, dopamine, and serotonin. These are sort of like happiness cocktail that make us feel hopeful, but it also in increases our trust and our connection to each other. The existence of these chemicals in our system cannot be there if cortisol or the stress hormone is there. In other words, there is an inverse relationship between the two. So when we're generous, we not only get these feel-good hormones, but it keeps our stress levels at bay, making us healthier, more optimistic, more connected, more hopeful for the future. There are many studies that show that the presence of these chemicals make us more empathetic, more compassionate, more creative in our thinking and problem solving, and more ethical. It literally and figuratively does help us to be generous. Thank you.